Hey guys, welcome back again and today on this video we're going to be going around Milhoy and Hendon I'm going to be showing you how to turn right at traffic lights uh, On this one I'm going to show you where to position the car uh, What to look out for, the kind of mistakes that people make on these kind of junctions and how to avoid them I'm also going to be showing you one really tricky junction that a lot of people fail on and how to do that one So without any more talking, let's go and do it So when turning right at traffic lights you want to get quite a few things right. You want to get your positioning right, you want to get the timing right, and also you want to get the judgment right, so in terms of who to give way to. To keep it simple, you give way to people that are coming from the opposite direction, so I'll show you what I mean in this, on this turning right here. So we're going to turn right at these traffic lights. So I do my mirror and mirror, center mirror, right mirror, signal I'm braking already I'm gonna get into second gear as I approach but I'll probably need gear one so notice how I'm approaching from on the right side but without going over the line I'm looking for the cars coming from the head but there's no one else after this car so I can turn and check my mirror and then make my turn into this road so if it was busy there I would have to wait in the middle and then once they once it's clear I could go so I'll give you another example of that in a second hopefully so we're going to turn right, so centre mirror, right mirror. So this one's got two lanes, so we've got the one for going straight and left and then we've got this one for going right, only for only going for going right. So I'm looking at the cars that are ahead, it's that little silver car and there's another car behind him as well, he's, also, he's turning uh, his right as well, which is, which is my left. So we're going to have to go around each other like this. Uh, the silver car is going to have priority once he's gone I'm going to have to deal with that car as well to make sure that he's going to not be in my way now there's a cyclist and another car behind so you're always updating the information you're not just looking at the first car you're looking at that direction constantly to see how many more cars are coming so that you can plan what you need to do so with all those vehicles I have there there's a strong chance that I'm going to have to wait in the middle and for them to go past I'm just going to go forward so that car is not turning the other way anymore, it's turning this way. I'm just going to wait here for, for those vehicles to go past. Uh, once they've gone past, I'm just going to check my mirror, check for any more vehicles behind them, and then I'll make my move. Watching out for any pedestrians that are crossing here. So at the end of this road, I'm going to turn right at the traffic lights. So I'm going to check my center, check my right, signal right as I approach. You can see it's two lanes, one for turning left and one for turning right in here. If you pay attention properly, you see the left lane was for left and the light was green for there, but our one was red and now it's green. So you really have to be careful there to make sure that you're paying attention to the correct light. So our one was green as I approached it, then I could move. But as we got there in the first place, it was red, so I had to be ready for that. But once I had, uh, once I had stopped, straight away you changed to, to green, so then I made my move. Let's turn right at these traffic lights as well. So I'm just going to position myself to go around this bus and then once I'm here, I'm going to check my mirrors and signal right. So notice I'm signalling just as I go past that road and this is another way it's got two separate lanes, one for the for going straight and left and one for us people that are turning right. And this one's got markings on the floor, they're a bit faint right now but it's got markings on the floor showing us where to position the car which is really useful so make sure you look out for that for those ones that have got markings on there so you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera but it's got, it's got like a line telling us to go this way so I'm just going to follow it it's got an arrow there as well and it should show us where to stop so usually there'll be another little white line at the end to make us stop here and then those cars are positioned that way as well so I'm looking behind this guy here I can't really see what's going on behind him so I'm also looking at the traffic light once it changes once it starts changing to, uh, to red uh, those guys should be starting to stop so then I can move uh, I couldn't see when he, when he was there so I wasn't really taking any chances even if I didn't see any movement that would be a bit more careful right now I'm just looking at the traffic looking at the light so there's lots of traffic there so the only time I'm gonna go really is when the light changes so like now it's changing but that guy was still moving a little bit so I was just keeping an eye on him but he smartly decided to stop so then I could make my move so on your test around here you might get asked to follow a sign so in this junction they usually say to you uh, follow signs for edgeware which I don't know if you can see but the edgeware will be on the right so I've already positioned myself to the right because I know I'm turning right 
uh, before the lanes have even split I'm already positioned to the right side so I'd only be over there and then try to come over here the last second I position myself right nice and early uh, this one a lot of people fail here uh, because they either go when there's not enough space for them or they uh, may go in a way that they're gonna block the pedestrian crossing so I'll show you what I mean what I mean once the traffic freaking front moves because it's a very small junction here there's not enough space for a lot of cars as you can see so once that van so I don't know if there's anybody in front of him so I wouldn't be where this van is waiting right now because if the light changes to red um, he might be in the way of, of uh, pedestrians and also he might not have enough time to move out of the way for those cars because of those cars will start coming towards him now so like I'll give you an example now so hopefully he's gonna move out of the way quickly he's lucky he can do that but if it was a learner it might be a different scenario uh, so in that situation if there's not enough space there it's best just to wait behind the line so like, this is probably going to be the easiest way when you're the first car like this it's probably going to be really easy because you have lots of room to go forward and do the junction properly so right now it's on a hill as well now so I'm just going to get my gas and biting point on and get ready for the light to go green so if you look on that side, that light is green on there. I'm just keeping an eye on that because once that starts to change, then ours will change soon. So it's changing to red now. Then ours should start changing soon as well. I can hear a police van, but he's gone past. So I'm just going to go forward. That red car should have gone, but he's uh, in the middle. So I'm just here. I'm just going to wait around here. So I'm not blocking these guys. These guys have still got space. And any cars coming from that way have got space as well. I'm looking for their signal. So this guy's going that way, but there's a car right behind him going this way. So I need to wait for him. Um, there's lots of cars coming down this way. There's stuff going on there, but I'm not going to pay too much attention over there. Um, my main focus is on this side here. I'm looking at the cars and the light. So the light is changing now. So that car, sh that there should be normal cars now after this car. Then I can make my move. So the key is to look at the lights and look at the cars. Don't just look, focus on the cars only. You need to look at the lights as well. So if you know you're turning right, go into the right lane uh, quite early. You don't want to wait until the last second. So as soon as you hear that you're going to turn right, you want to be in the right lane, especially on dual carriageways, which I'll show you in a bit. But even here, we're going to be turning right. So I'm gonna, I've am going already positioned myself to the right lane. Make sure there's enough space past this light. Mirror checks, center mirror, right mirror, signal right. Sometimes you can't see what kind of junction is going to be because there's, there's cars in front of you, but I can see through this car there's a green arrow, which means um, it's going to concentrate for a second, yeah, which means that those cars coming from there will have a red light, so I won't have to worry too much about them. I'll still pay attention to what's going on over there but they shouldn't come towards us since there's a green arrow for us. So I'm gonna turn right here as well. So if there's a green arrow, it will mean that we can turn uh, without worrying too much about those cars coming from that side. Uh, and I say worry too much because you still want to look at them just in case uh, someone's made a mistake or sometimes you might be a cyclist because cyclists don't really sometimes they don't pay attention to the red lights so you still want to be careful as you go forward before you make your turn so right now it looks like it's just a normal round uh, green light which means people have to wait in the middle before they turn And the car in front of me is doing the right thing. So you see, they've waited behind the line. Rather than blocking the crossing, they've waited behind the line. And then once there's space for them, they can go forward like that and I'll go forward with them because now it's changed to a green arrow, which means that um, I can keep moving without worrying too much about those guys over there. So turning right at these lights. So center mirror, right mirror, signal right as they approach. 
So you want to be careful here as well. So the light's been green for a very long time. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it to make sure that it stays green. And the guy should be a bit more forward, but I think there's somebody blocking his lane. He's not The car ahead of him is not in the lane properly. So once he's gone forward like there, I can go forward with him as well, because now there's enough space for both of us. But before, there wasn't enough space because the car in front of him was, was in the wrong position. They should have been here. So now it's clear, I can keep moving. So the light, see the light's changing to orange there. Uh, don't get confused once it starts changing to orange uh, or red it doesn't really apply to you so you need to keep moving don't wait there thinking that the light has changed to red for you um, once you're in that position you can't stay there if it goes red because you're going to be blocking traffic otherwise so that light is there to just show you that the cars behind you are going to have a red light and sometimes the cars in front of you are having red light as well so that means it's time for you to move if it's clear so we're turning right at these lights as well so center mirror right mirror signal i'm braking really early as i approach i'm in third right now obviously i don't want to stay in third so i'm gonna go from third straight to one because i'm stopping because this light is red i'm positioning myself to the right of this junction i'm not positioning myself that way to the left because once i go forward i want to go in the middle in the way that people behind me can still go past without blocking those cars that are going straight on so there's a car in front of me that's turning their right as well so i'm just going to go forward we're going to go side by side so passenger side to passenger side. So I'm just gonna wait just here, waiting for those cars to go past. I'm also concentrating on the green light and I'm looking for a big gap between the traffic as well. But at the moment, as you can see, it's very busy, no traffic, no gap in that traffic. So the only thing that I'm gonna wait for now is probably just a red light for these guys. Checking to see who's next to me as well in case when I turn there's a motorbike there or something like that. So after this white car, it looks like it's clear. Check my mirror, clutch the biting point gas, and move off smoothly. Then gear up to second gear. So I know I'm turning right, so I position myself to right from early. But I want to check my mirrors, mirrors, signal right. So even though this lane is only for turning right, I still want to signal to let people know. And the, the right turn is not here. It's going to be just on these second lights here so you can see the lights are different the arrow there is green for people that are going straight but for us that are going that are turning right is red and then now it's going to green and it's, it's an arrow which means those guys over there are gonna have a uh, red light which means I can go when you're turning right at a junction like this where there's no oncoming traffic it's really simple you're not gonna have to wait for any cars or any vehicles coming from that way uh, the only thing you have to, you're going to have to really watch out for are pedestrians. But as you can see here, it's got two set of lights. So we've got one on the right and one on the left. So I'm concentrating on the one on the right because you see the one on the left has changed to green. So this person should be moving, which is why she got beeped. Uh, I don't think she was paying attention there. So you want to be concentrating on the lights when you're the first car. Uh, and now it's going into red. And then R1 should be going to green now. So I'm just going to check my mirrors. And then we so it's got, it's got an arrow. So everyone around us. There shouldn't be anybody affecting our turn here. Turning right again, so center mirror, right mirror, signal right. So you see this lane, I don't know if you saw in the markings there, you can go straight as well and turn right. So the cars in this lane might be going straight on as well. Looks like there's a bit of traffic ahead where that car wasn't moving for some reason. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on the light, make sure it's still green. And then as I look, so there's a bit of traffic building up there as well, which might make it a bit tricky for me. And so I'm just gonna wait here. Hmm, this is a tricky one because now that there's a temporary light over there which is going to cause um, that those cars can't move but that car in front has just moved a little bit so I'm, I can move and go out the way here thanks very much so this one was a bit unusual because normally there would be these cars wouldn't be here because that, that temporary light wouldn't be there but because there was traffic building up here um, I probably I wouldn't be able to turn into um, into this into this bit here or into the middle so make sure it's safe for these pedestrians. Yeah. Turning right at these ones, so we need to be 
in this lane for that so we couldn't go in there early and then we're going to turn right so in this one you can use the left lane or the right lane to turn right so we're going to be in this lane i'm going to show you uh, what to do in this situation here so then this lane can go straight as well but you notice there's a lane on our left that's on our right sorry that's also turning right so as i turn i'm going to be very careful of any cars that are on this side i'm going to make sure i'm going to keep to my side so i'm going to keep as far left as i can check in that mirror as well make sure there's no one there and then that way i'm not going to interfere with any cars i'm turning right at the next lights as well so i'm just going to position myself to the right so mirror mirror signal to the right and there's a green arrow there letting us know that those cars shouldn't be moving but it's going to red so i'm just gonna wait by the line it's a bit faint but there's a line just there and then i'll wait here for for the light so here sometimes it can get a bit, get a bit confusing so if you get here and there's no cars you might think oh, i can just turn because you know i'm not waiting for any cars that are coming down the road but this is a bit different this one's controlled by that traffic light over there and the, the stop line is there so you just treat it like a traffic light that you have to stop at basically because it's red and there's a stop line there so even if there are no cars coming from that side you still have to wait here because um, the light is red so like this, like this for example so if this was a normal situation you might go now because there's no one coming towards you but the light is still red for us in this kind of junction so you have to wait till it's green so like now it's going to green mirror checks and then I'll make my move On the next one we're turning right onto a dual carriageway and they will tell you nice and early you're going to turn right at the next lights which gives you time which gives you time to change lanes so i'm just going to signal right and go into this lane then cancel my signal because there's, there's a few roads between us and that turn so i don't want to give the wrong impression that i'm turning right into this run of these side roads here once i've gone past the last side road i'm going to uh, signal right to let people know i'm turning right I'm aiming for the left lane once I've turned, so I'm checking, make sure I don't go into these guys' lanes. There's an arrow showing us which way to position ourselves, and those cars are moving, which is good. And I can aim straight for the left lane, and then I can build up my speed loads. So on this route, sometimes they will tell you quite from, from around here that you're turning right at the next traffic lights, which means I'm going to move to the right lane nice and early. So middle lane first, and then mirror, mirror, and then signal again. And then right lane yeah so you want to be as soon as you hear the instruction especially on the dual carriageway that you're turning right move over to the right lane uh, obviously normally you don't drive in the right lane unless you're in overtaking or turning right uh, so you might think oh why should i go into the right lane early but you want to do that so you're not having to fight your way over uh, once you get close to the lights because it's gonna be very hard for you to do that and once i can see the lights right around here i can signal again let people know I'm turning right and I'm moving all the way to the right so I can't because I can't turn right from one of those lanes here I'm going to as far right as I can which is over here and I can go from gear 4 straight into gear 1 and then I'm ready so those cars that are going straight I've got a green light our one's a bit different our one is still red so we have to wait for our one to go green I'm um, checking the kind of junction it is as well, so I'm also looking, because it's quite big here, I don't want to get confused as I start moving. I'm looking to see where I'm going to turn right, where I'm going to end up, so I'm, it's, it looks like it's over there where those, where that building is over there, where that light is, where that light is green, just next to that red car that's over there, on the left of it, so I'm just going to aim for that side as I go through. Uh, it looks like it's one of those junctions where we're going to have a green arrow. Uh, I can see from the by looking at the light here. I can see that it's not a circle; it's an arrow there. So once it goes to green, like there, yeah, it's green. That's a green arrow. So we shouldn't have to worry about any oncoming vehicles. Those other cars that are moving are going this way. Even this car coming towards us, he's got a red light um, because I can because we wouldn't have a green light, green arrow otherwise. If that guy had a had a green light as well. So when you see cars approaching the light, don't get scared, especially if you know you've got a green uh, arrow that allowed you to move in the first place don't get scared because those cars are just going to stop by the by their line but if it's a green if it's just a green circle light be very careful we'd have to stop in that situation there because those guys potentially could be coming towards us so just be mindful of that we're turning right at these lights so 
see the, there's a right lane there but there's cars using it a bit to go around that red car so I'm just going to position myself a bit to the right without going too much into that lane once I'm here I'm going to move over and signal right so you saw those cars were using it to go around um, the parked car over there you want to be wary of that as well so here I can position myself along the line uh, I can see there's cars that are turning to go to the to their right as well that white car over there and this white van next to him should be going straight ahead um, I need to position myself in the middle without getting in the way of those cars that are going straight um, the car that are turning it's going to be passenger to passenger side uh, and you've noticed most most junctions are going to be passenger side to passenger side and if you're not sure how you're going to position yourself uh, let the car in front lead because most of the time those cars will have experience so they'll um, show you where to position yourself just by the way they're positioned so we don't want to be forcing ourselves onto this side to go around and wait on this side of that car like driver to driver uh, I'll show you what I mean so as I go forward well, that car is still not moving but I wouldn't want to go on that side because one there's no space because those cars are next to us so I'm just going to be positioned like here so now we can go past each other side uh, passenger door to passenger door I'm looking for those cars that are over there once there's He's gone and can move now because there's no one else and the light was also changing to red. Uh, aim for the left lane again so I'm in the correct lane to drive in and then I increase my speed as quickly as I can. Next traffic lights were turning right so remember so you want to move to the right uh, as soon as you hear that instruction or when you start preparing to move over to the right when it's safe to do so. Don't wait until you get close to the lights to then start moving over. Um, I can see already there's a sign there warning us traffic light coming up ahead. I'm just going to signal right again to let people know I'm turning now. I'm slowing down. So I'm not going straight. I want to slow down because I want to be in this lane here. Um, I'm just keeping an eye on the light make sure it's still green before I go forward. And it's still green. And I can wait uh, in this box here. It doesn't... Uh, so when you're turning right, there's a separate video for this. But you can use... You can wait in the box um, to turn right. I'm watching for that red van. He looks like he's turning. I'm also looking for any cars that are behind him as well. Uh, but there's no one else so you want to watch out for any cars that are behind that van make sure you can know 100% before you commit into that turn because especially there those cars will be going 50 miles an hour through that junction sometimes so you don't want to make that mistake of going when you shouldn't go because those cars wouldn't expect you to do that and they're not going to have uh, any time to to stop for you now this one has tripped up a lot of people uh, on their tests so if you're doing a test around Hendon make sure you come and practice this one it's at the end of Bell Lane so we're turning right so mirror mirror signal right gear down as you can see the arrows are telling you to keep left keep left but a lot of people get confused here and they will go into the right lane I think it's because of this road here or this little side road here it makes people think that this is the lane that they can use uh, to turn right in but you can't use that lane to turn right because that's the lane for the oncoming cars uh, any cars coming from there will turn into here any cars coming from here will turn into this lane as well so you don't want to be in that lane it's not just learners that i've seen doing i've seen other drivers go into that lane by mistake as well they had to reverse back it's a very confusing junction so if you're doing your test in hendon the mill hill area make sure you practice uh this uh this junction here so i think it's on, it's on green lane just by hendon central train station so now that i'm in the right position here uh, it's also very important that i position myself in the in the middle of the junction properly once the light goes green and again it's going to be passenger side to passenger side as we go forward so that little car coming down the road now he should be turning uh to the right because he's in the lane for turning right sometimes people don't turn right when they're supposed to so i'm just going to keep an eye on, an eye on him um so you see he's going straight but he should have really turned right i'm just going to position myself just here looking for the looking at the light as well so i'm just uh, concentrating on the light and for the cars coming down the road once I see a big gap or the light goes orange I'm gonna go so this car just turned but it looks like it's speeding up quite a lot so I'm not gonna move until he's gone so once he's gone a bit of gas clutch to the bite and I'm off so watch out for people that are in the wrong lane that, that are, so that lane that the car was the first car was in was only for turning right he should have turned the other way but he didn't so be ready for that as well he wasn't signaling to turn so that was a clue that he wasn't going to turn also he was a bit it was far forward from the car that was next to him which normally indicates the car the driver's in is eager to go past everyone else so just little clues like that will help you 
for this one we're turning right into the dual carriageway so center mirror right mirror signal right just gonna wait behind this car here probably can't see uh, in the camera here but there's an arrow on the floor telling us where to position uh, to make this turn so when you're at junctions that you're not familiar with look out for those clues as well uh, so where you, so you can plan exactly where you're going to position the car uh, sometimes there's no markings other times there's, there'll be arrows so that will make it a lot easier for you to decide where to go uh, with the car in front of you as well it does make it easier because if they do it the right, the right way, it's going to be easy for you to just follow them. But sometimes, unfortunately, uh, the car in front does it the wrong way. I've seen cars try to do like driver to driver here before, instead of like, um, so driver to driver. And so instead of passengers to side to passenger side, they've gone uh, driver side to driver side with, with, with those cars that are turning from over there into that road over there. So hopefully this guy does it correctly so I can show you what I mean. Even if he does it wrong, I can show you what to do in that situation as well. So, yeah, so he's going to do it correctly. And the car in front of him, they're a bit wide, but uh, they're fine now. They're in their position. That can sometimes confuse you as well. So if the car in front does the wrong thing, that can be really confusing. So now I'm just looking for any cars coming from behind these cars. I can't really see anything. So I'm just going to creep forward slowly without getting too much into that lane. Once I can see that it's clear like there, I can make my move and I'm aiming to the left lane so you don't want to just go because you don't see anybody coming because could, those cars could be hiding somebody that are zooming straight past so be really careful and creep forward slowly and carefully until you can see there's a nice gap and then you make your move it's got a keep clear sign just before it as well so i'm just going to be careful to make sure i don't go and block it and there's a space now that car's turned so once that car is that, that this car's turning is gone, there's a big space here, but the space is getting smaller and smaller. It took a bit longer than I thought to turn, so there was much there wasn't much room there. Once the light has gone red though, now there's enough space. So I can I know those cars are not gonna move. I can just follow this van. So sometimes you might think you can uh, go once that once a certain car has moved out of the way, but just keep evaluating the situation because there it changed. I thought that guy was gonna turn a lot quicker, but because she turned quite slowly, um, those cars that were behind him closed that gap and then the gap became too small for me to make that turn so I'm just so I just waited for another gap so constantly reevaluate the situation because sometimes you think yeah I can go but then really once the time for you to go comes uh, the situation has changed into something else and you need to make sure you reevaluate it again and stop and go when it's safe okay that's the end of that one hopefully you guys enjoyed it so just a recap when you are approaching the lights make sure you position yourself to the right if there's more than one lane for you to uh, for you to go into as you approach that junction position yourself in the right nice and early um, when you get to the lights don't go through the light if it's going to change to red um, make sure you're looking at the light that that applies to you so sometimes there's more than one light one light could be for the other cars that are turning left or going straight and then your light might be separate from there so keep an eye on that as well um, as you get to the middle of the junction well, before you even get there, actually plan where you're going to position yourself. So look out for like floor markings, look out for the cars that have gone before to see where they've gone. Um, and then once it's green for you, position yourself correctly without blocking the oncoming traffic and without blocking the cars that are trying to turn uh, in front of you and without blocking the cars that are going from behind you that are going straight as well. So when you're in the middle, you're looking for cars that are coming ahead. For You're looking for a big gap there, and then you can make a turn or you're looking for the lights to start to change to red as well. And make sure that the cars that are coming towards you have stopped before you make your move. Uh, if you're at a junction where it's got a green arrow, remember those ones, uh, a green arrow telling you to turn right and you're turning right, remember those ones, you don't have to worry too much about the oncoming traffic because if you've got a green arrow, those that oncoming traffic is gonna have uh, a red light so you can make your move. Just watch out for any stray cars that have gone past or any cyclists that might go through the red light as well and then as you're turning just look out for any pedestrians that might be already crossing the road so if you like that guys share the video subscribe uh, there's lots more to come and i hope to see you in the next one